So ancient Egyptians have the information of the person who has died. Uh, they have that information on the walls, the tomb walls, the, the floor of the tomb. They also have the information of the person and the life of the person in the eulogy and uh, in the Book of the Dead as well. They wanted to know more about the person, the person's life. They wanted to know which, where, when the person died, why and how and what actually killed the person. So they have all this particular information in the Book of the Dead, the walls of the tomb, the floor, the tomb walls, the tomb floor, and the eulogy. So all this particular information is right here in this eulogy. Not everything, just yeah, the basics. So this is one of the few ways you can also know about the person from the casket, on the casket. They also have the information of the person on the casket as well, the casket and yeah, the casket, the tomb floor, the tomb walls and uh, the book of the dead. Yeah, these are some of the few places that they have the information of the person that has died. And as we have mentioned, this is what they wanted, like they needed to know the information of the person, the individual that has died. Uh, so this, these are the few places that they have the information or they put the information of the person. So if you can translate these things, if you can translate the information on the walls, if you can translate the information on the tomb floor, in the eulogy, on the casket, it's easy to know more about the person's life, what killed them, their name, and all these things, yeah.